Hello everybody and welcome back to another mindful SMP episode. As you can see with the intro clip, I have built a house. Oh, well, most of it, at least. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I tried to go with a bigger cabin that's been pretty worn out by the snow. Covered some glow lichen in it to give it some kind of mystery. I, I don't know. I'm going to figure something out with it because there's something special on the inside I want to do with this build and basically make it look like it's bigger on the inside kind of it's it's gonna be hard but i'm gonna figure out something past here it's gonna transition into something else so you would think that it would just end here but no it's gonna keep going and that's why i love this spot so much because if you look around it's it's pretty much covered in snow Getting all the details, especially the roof here, was incredibly annoying, but I, I like it quite a lot. I just gotta get some flowers. And the mix with the mud and the mangrove muddy roots. Is it mangrove muddy wood roots? Muddy mangrove roots. Okay. Muddy mangrove roots. Alright, I can remember that. Yeah, muddy mangrove roots and the mud just... Uh, I don't know. I felt like the snow could have melted a little bit and messed with the, the dirt. That would have been around this place before it got all worn and not as livable. As you might have heard in the background, I do have a frog that I named Ribbity. I was just going to walk through that, but I can't really, can't really do that. Can't walk through glass quite yet. But yeah, this is Ribbity. Great name. Yep, 10 out of 10. He's, he's a little stuck, but he's a very happy frog. And I kidnapped him from the mangrove forest. But, yeah. I also added those mending books Broken gave me to my pickaxes. I still have one left over, and I'm not too sure what... Oh yeah, Broken named my goat as well. Uh, I don't even want to begin to try and figure out how to pronounce that. But yes, I do have my fortune pick with mending, my silk touch with mending, uh, my beaten up armor which I need to repair. I got a few diamonds left, so maybe I could make diamond armor, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of like rocking some iron armor, so I might end up making some pretty good iron armor and see how that goes. See how long it lasts for. And, of course, I got the horns that I want to keep in here. So feel, sing, ponder, and seek. And I definitely feel like... Is it feel or sing? I think it's feel is my favorite. It's very bassy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say Sing is my second favorite, probably. It's definitely a, a better directional horn, so I might just keep that one on me. So when I'm around other players, I can use it as a directional type thing. But yeah, I still have a mending book left over and an Unbreaking 3 book left over from fishing? I think it was from fishing. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Heart of the Sea from... You know, I don't actually remember how I got that hard to see. I mean, it would have been from a treasure map. Wait. Oh, this treasure map, to be exact. <laughs> That's actually the mangrove forest that I got the frog from. So it's a good thing I kept the map, I guess. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty awesome. Uh, Okay, buddy, can you please move? Thank you. Alright. And yeah, I got all these horns here that I will be using in my goat horn shop, which should be coming pretty soon. I just got to figure out a design. Oh, and of course, I got a trident from a drowned. So pretty happy about that. You know, I was a little worried at first about this place, but I, I like it. I'm quite happy with it. But for now, let's head down here. Since I don't have a bath, I'm still going to use Douglas' waterfall. Oh, that's a nice tree. Good work, Douglas. Good work. I'm still kind of working this area out a little bit, like I was going to make a path up here that also leads to the geode, which which I like and others seem to like as well, as far as I can tell. Put the enchantment table in here for now, so people still have access to that. But for the staircase, I haven't worked anything out yet, so it's a bit difficult. But, oh, these mud bricks are so satisfying to walk on. Uh, 
I do love the sounds for the new blocks. I would like to see new sounds for other blocks too. Be kind of interesting to see what they would do. Okay, all right. Oh, so I'm not too sure where would be a good spot, especially for a corn shop, because that's something I never thought I would make a shop for corns, let alone goats. Hmm. I mean, I would like somewhere close, but I feel like I should leave somewhere closer to the portal to places that will maybe last a little longer, because it's only a goat porn shop, so I feel like it won't last for long, but, you know, I could always change it out. I really want to take this iron, but I'm going to leave it there. Is that a bat? I just love these shaders. The BSL shaders with the way the skulk glows is just incredible. It lights up this place perfectly. I feel like that wasn't me. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh. You know. No. You know what? I thought it might be the voice chat, but I have my mic off on here. Now I definitely don't. Beep boop. Yeah, we do have the voice chat mod on here, and it interacts with the Skulk and the Warden, so pretty terrifying. It's going to be interesting once we find an ancient city. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm Interesting. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. Anyway. Boop. Alright, I think Brogan shot the zombie spawner thing. Uh, here it is. I do believe it has a nice view right through here. Oh. Oh, yeah, because the glass, it looks like... It looks like the books are floating. Quite, an, quite a nice little shot. Quite cute. Okay, so what do we got here? Frostwalker, Depth Strider, Infinity, Power, Punch, Fortune, Lame, Knockback, Efficiency, Silk Touch, Respiration, Horns. Wow, there, there, there's a lot. There's a lot here. I thought it's just Aspect. I'm like, what's Aspect? Smite, even? Looting? Sharpness, mending. Oh, he's stocked on mending too. Uh, this is why I avoided coming here because I would want to spend all my diamonds because it's it's so nice. Mindful SMP is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. If you're looking for your own server, head over to MC Pro Hosting and use the code Mindful for twenty percent off your purchase. And I ended up putting a piece of scope catalyst right there, and it absorbed all of his XP and spread it everywhere during the raid and you know what i'm keeping it so happy accident it looks nice i mean it really did spread but you know it didn't get into the geode so i i think it actually looks cool i ended up removing them after though because i had one uh oh i had one under here because i thought it would give some kind of cool light and i believe i had one up there because i wanted to show off the bottom texture which looks really cool I'll actually show you guys the bottom texture here. But yeah, pretty detailed, especially for a texture you're really not ever going to see, which is really nice. I love seeing stuff like that. Forgot how long this takes to break, but the, the noise, it's so satisfying because it's the bone block noise, which means it's made out of bones, which is even more terrifying. But oh yeah, I also named my pickaxe uh, we also got the data pack those colored and stuff which is really awesome and we can also do fonts too which i didn't realize and i figured why not use the old font also known as galactic alphabet also known as the enchantment table text which is the same stuff in in here this text right here so yeah uh i didn't do anything fancy but you know if you guys want to try and translate these in the future and comment down what they are. That would be pretty awesome. All right. So, I 
thought we would go leave our new guy a little subtle gift. Because I believed he named his new pet zombie villager Billy. Alright, let's go up this big staircase here. Ooh. Well, looking pretty nice. Pretty good. A lot of squid. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. That's nice. Oh. Oh no. I'm guessing that's that's Billy. I am definitely guessing that's Billy. Yeah, I feel like that's Billy. Oh, well. That's a shame. Guess I'll have to think of something else. Hello, chickens. All right, well, I ended up giving Robert a baby goat and naming it Billy because it seemed fitting enough. And yeah, this guy now lives in his house, basically. All right, well, that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.